guys in this video we'll be talking about ors uh, you might have often heard in your clinical posting whenever whenever there is a child with dehydration teacher ask you what is the composition of ors what is the reduced osmolarity ors and also you might have heard of a term known as rhizomol guys that is rehydration solution for the malnourished so we'll be talking about all of this and like when i entered my clinical posting the first question that was asked to me in one of my dehydration case who discovered the ors Luckily, this is discovered by an Indian guys. Okay, so we need to know who discovered the ORS and let the sir rest in peace. He recently passed away guys. We'll be talking about this also. Okay, so see, World ORS Day is celebrated on July 29th guys. Okay, and this may be present as a spotter question to you guys that what is the composition of ORS. When you ever uh, get a ORS from the market, please try to see the composition and I'll make it easy for you guys today. Whenever you get a ORS, please just have a look guys and revise what is the composition of ORS guys. Okay, so see, we'll be moving on with the ORS. See, first of all, he is the man who is credited with the discovery of ORS, guys. Okay, that is Dr. Dr. Dilip Mah Mahalanabis. Okay, so he is the one who has saved millions of lives with the simple ORS, guys. Okay, so this ORS, what is this basically ORS that we are talking about? ORS stands for oral rehydration solution, means you give it orally by the mouth, and basically, this is used for the purpose of rehydration, means increasing the fluid intake, guys. And this is in the liquid form, hence, a solution guys okay so this is basically ors guys see if we talk about the composition of ors how i have remembered this mnemonic is taken for with credit from navin koval sir so i found it very useful so i'll be discussing the same with you guys okay see if we talk about the ors remember it has four component what are the four component first thing you know it has sodium it has citrate it has potassium and it has chloride guys okay then sodium what it, remember sodium and citrate sa side sound superior so remember these two are above okay sodium and citrate then the remaining two will be below guys remaining what are the two that is chloride and potassium see sodium what is the formula of sodium that is na no, sodium stands for na na you can remember it as nabe that is sodium is 90 guys okay now coming on guys to the citrate citrate ends with t that is 10 guys okay 90 plus 10 makes 100 guys okay now guys coming on to the chloride guys okay see what happens to the chloride guys chloride is 8 later guys that is 80 guys okay and this also should make 100 so then potassium will be guys 20 okay guys so this makes it 200 guys okay so this is 100 and 100 200 guys and if we talk about the glucose guys in the old composition of ORS guys this is 111 so what does this the total osmolarity guys that is 311 guys okay so this was the old osmo old ORS but guys now we have uh, a new ORS guys okay so this ORS has the osmolality of 245 it means some of the things are lesser than the normal guys okay so that is reduced osmolarity ORS guys okay so see uh, just uh, from the previous two that is sodium was 90 subtract 15 how much is guys 75 citrate how is what T10 leave it 10 guys okay now coming on to the chloride guys chloride was 80 guys uh, subtract again 15 guys okay that makes it 65 potassium guys that is again same 20 guys okay and this glucose guys okay instead of being 111 that is guys 75 so the reduced osmolality is 245 guys okay so see if you th think about like someone ask you guys what is the composition of citrate just think citrate te10 that is 10 in both if someone asks you uh, about the sodium in reduced osmolality sodium na nabbe but reduced will subtract minus 15 that comes out guys to be 75 okay guys so hope this makes you remember guys okay so this is a table guys see this is a old who ors guys see osmolality 311 guys sodium na nabbe that is guys 90 potassium is 20 guys chloride 8 letters 80 guys and glucose was 111 making it total of 311 guys see 90 and this citrate was 10 here guys okay citrate was 10 here okay see now coming on to the reduced osmolality guys here also you see guys same thing sodium you reduced you have subtracted 15 potassium you have subtracted guys same chloride again minus 15 glucose at 75 so remember when someone talks about reduced osmolality there are two things which have 75 thing guys one is the glucose guys and one is the sodium when we have subtracted 90 minus uh, 15 that is 75 guys now coming on to the risomol guys okay so risomol is guys rehydration solution for the malnourished do not consider it as re, uh, reduced osmolarity ors guys 
I have been thinking it for long until I got to my PSM and got to know this is rehydration solution for myelitis. So guys, please don't confuse with it. Okay. See, here the osmolality is around 300 guys. Two things that is worth remembering guys. Here we have done half of sodium. Uh, that was 90. Here we have 45 guys. And potassium has been doubled guys. Instead of 20, it's 40 guys. Okay. Because they are more of electrolyte. They are malnourished children. So this is the thing guys. Okay. See, this is the same thing which we discussed and this is in grams per liter guys. This sodium chloride is 2.6, glucose is 13.5 and this potassium is 1.5 and trisodium. This even if you don't remember, it's fine guys. It's not worth remembering also. Now see, what, uh, what are the things this ORS is there guys. Okay, so first of all remember this total weight of ORS packet is 20.5 gram guys. Okay, and this new ORS guys was launched by WHO in January 2004 guys. Okay, now if someone asks you when was the ORS launch, you know. Where, who discovered ORS? A Indian, a Indian, a Indian doctor who discovered, you know. See, now we need to know guys, what is the role of its constituent in the ORS guys. See, first of all, we'll talk about uh, talk about the glucose, guys. Okay. See, what happens is glucose facilitates the absorption of sodium, and hence uh, and hence also it facilitates the absorption of water simultaneously with it. This sodium and potassium, guys. Okay. This sodium and potassium re uh, replenish the loss of electrolyte, guys, during in, during vomiting and diarrhea. Hence, they are used in treatment of vomiting and diarrhea, guys, in moderate to severe dehydration, guys, mild to moderate dehydration, guys. Okay. Now, see this citrate. What is the use of this citrate? This sodium citrate guys what does do it improves the self life of the ORS guys okay then it helps to reduce the stool output guys okay through an action on the intestinal mucosa guys okay see now why is the new ORS composition slightly different from the previous ORS what is the difference guys 90 to 75 80 to 65 and glucose from 111 to 75 guys see this new ORS guys contain lesser amount of sodium and glucose. We saw both are 75 resulting in lower osmolality 311 to 245 guys. Okay. So what are the benefit? It reduces the stool output by 25% guys. Okay. It reduces vomiting by 30% guys. And it has, it has been demonstrated to reduce the need for IV therapy by 30% guys. Okay. So you can find there are this many advantages. So we have moved from the, uh, move to reduce osmolality ORS. What is the indication guys? Mild and moderate dehydration guys. Okay. Now, what are the instructions that you give after reconstitution? I remember a funny thing in my clinical posting. Um, my, uh, my, uh, the in place where I was posted. Doctor asked me, till when you can give your ORS? My friend just answered casually in my PSM posting. That's a, we'll make in a bottle and we'll give until, until it gets, uh, the bottle gets finished guys. But this is not so the case guys. Okay. So basically you dissolve the content in one liter of clean water guys. Okay. And this prepared solution can be used only within 24 hours guys. After 24 hours, please discard the solution guys. Do not give such useless answer which I gave in my posting please. Like one of my friend gave. So please don't do this guys. Okay. The solution must be made fresh daily guys. Okay. See. Then this was about uh, ORS. If you don't have ORS guys, what you will do? There's some options like homemade ORS. So how can you make a homemade ORS? This is also one of the favorite PSM or pediatric solution they can ask you. You have six level of teaspoon of sugar guys. Half level teaspoon of salt guys. And you add it to a one liter of water guys. Okay. And then you feed the child. See, there's some other alternative guys that can be used like green coconut water, rice water, dal water, buttermilk guys. These are some of the other alternatives. So see, if we talk about ORS guys, uh, recall in your mind what we need to know. ORS, you have normal ORS, you have reduced osmolality ORS guys. Then thing we need to know of the composition guys. Remember, sodium citrate sasa that is superior 90 10. Then chloride was 80, potassium was 20. Then we have gone to a reduced state where sodium instead of 90 75, citrate remains 10 guys. Potassium instead of 80 65 guys. Then uh, potassium sorry 20 and chloride 65 guys. Okay. And glucose from 111 to 75. That makes from 311 to 245 guys. This is very important. Then important of each of the constitution constituent you need to know guys who discovered Dr. Dilip who discovered the ORS guys he's a pioneer and recently he passed away he breathed his last guys on 16th October so this is very important like uh, from the historical aspect guys so try to recall whatever things I said about ORS and I think hope this simplifies the topic for ORS for you guys okay if you like it please like do comment share subscribe and say do uh, which topic you need the uh, next okay thank you guys keep learning happy studying guys